Hello, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another episode of Hard Times, where I explore foods from times of food scarcity. And today, I'm going to be making and tasting slug burgers. So slug burgers originally came from Corinth, Mississippi. Actually, they're still made there. They celebrate the annual Slug Burger Festival, and they've been doing it for over 30 years now. <laughs> and it's a summer event where everyone comes and has a slug burger. So legend goes there's a man named John Weeks who came from Chicago to Corinth, Mississippi, and created a burger called the Weeks Burger. And basically, it was an extended burger meaning it was a burger that contained lots of extenders. At that time, it was potato flakes and flour, and it was a way to extend the meat. This was also very popular during the Depression because there was not a lot of meat to go around. So the mixture is formed into a very thin patty and deep fried and served between two hamburger buns along with mustard, onions, and pickles. So I found a couple different recipes, one that was extended with bread and one that was extended with cornmeal. Although I think it's very popular to extend it with soy grits, I wasn't able to find that and I didn't find a recipe for that either. So I'm gonna be doing the cornmeal and the bread version. I will put the links to the original recipes down below. All right, let's go ahead and start making the slug burger. So the first version I'm going to make is going to be extended with sandwich bread. So the recipe they include is a huge extended, did you hear that bird? I love this time of year. It's so beautiful right now. It's sort of very, very early summer, late spring, and everything is blooming and sprouting and the birds are singing, the bees are buzzing. I love it. I love this time of year. So this is a half a loaf of just regular sandwich bread, and I just ground it up in my food processor to give me some crumbs. So to my crumbs, I'm going to add some beef stock. And they said just add enough to moisten it. So to that, I'm gonna add some pepper and some onion powder. And a bit of salt. And this is a quarter pound of ground beef. I'm gonna get my hands in there and start mixing it. Now I take a ball of the mixture and use a little bit of flour to dust it and form these into patties. Very thin patties that we can fry. There is one uncooked slug burger. I'm gonna go wash my hands. So for version number two, we're going to use cornmeal as our extender rather than bread. Again, a quarter pound of ground beef, and this time we're gonna add half a cup of cornmeal. So that's about equal portions, I would say, of meal to meat. And we're gonna add some salt and black pepper. And mix it well. Preliminary mix with a spoon, and now I'm gonna get in there with my hands. And compress it and make it into a patty. Two versions of slug burgers. Now let us fry. I've got myself a cast iron skillet here with about a half an inch of vegetable oil heating up. Take a pinch of flour and sprinkle it in there and it's sizzling, so that is good. This is on medium-high heat. Now we're gonna carefully slide them in. All right, here we go. Patty number one, and patty number two. All right, sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Lift them up off the bottom there so they don't stick. That is looking gorgeous. So this is the first patty. This is the one that's made with the bread. That one looks done to me. Pretty crispy. So that's, I would say, about two minutes. I'm gonna call that one done. And this is the one that's made with cornmeal. Drain as much of that oil off as we can. And then onto paper toweling. This is version one that's made with the bread. And this is number two that's made with the cornmeal. Buns, two of them. Place one patty on each bun. In recipe number one, I said that it's optional to top it with this red chili pepper mix. I'm going to use some cayenne pepper because I always love an extra bit of heat. Next, yellow mustard. Nothing fancy, always yellow mustard. Never ketchup, apparently, never. Then we're adding some onions. I love onions. This is some chopped Vidalia onions, which are nice and sweet. I hear they're sweet because of the soil. It's said that there's more sulfur in the soil. 
Finally, two pickles. I am ordinarily not a huge pickle fan, but with fried foods, I love pickles. There's something about the acidity and crunch that goes so well with deep fried foods. Put our hat on, and there we have it. Slug burgers times two. Actually, that's four times two. <laughs> Alright, so here we are with our two versions of slug burgers, nice and piping hot. I'm going to eat number one first. This is the one that was made with mostly bread. Get the Mmm. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty good. It's very different than a regular burger. It has a nice crunch to it, both from the fresh onions, the pickles, and the crisp crust of the patty itself. It doesn't taste like a burger at all. The texture is a little bit mushy because most of it is bread after all, but the outside is crispy. Mm -hmm. In terms of flavor, a bit like a veggie burger, a little bit sweet, probably from that sliced bread. There's a good amount of sugar in there and you taste the onion powder in there. You don't taste the beef so much. You do get that kind of beef bouillon stock flavor to it. But yeah, all together, it's good. Let's try slug burger number two, and this one is extended with the cornmeal. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Very, very different. As you might have heard, this one has a much crunchier texture and a little bit drier, too. The first one also has some crispness, but the second one has more of a crispness that goes, I think, throughout the patty. I think that has to do with the mixture just being drier. And in terms of flavor, this one has more of a beefy flavor, and I think that also has to do with the proportion. Just relative to the amount of extender in it, this has more beef than the first one. I like the flavor of this one better. But all in all, both of these burgers are pretty good, and I think that largely has to do with the toppings and the condiments that are added. The fresh onion that are sweet and crunchy, the crunchy pickles that are vinegar and sour with that nice dill flavor, and you've got the mustard in there as well, so a little bit more vinegar. I definitely like the addition of cayenne. I'm going to add some cayenne to this second one. Again, that little bit of heat gives a little bit of variation and a little bit of kick. Mm-hmm. Hands down, a little bit of spicy kick, even better. I do have to say with version two, although I like the flavor better, this one is a little bit dry. Maybe if I steamed my buns a little bit or added a little bit more mustard, it wouldn't be so dry. But in terms of flavor, I definitely like number two better than number one. So there you have it, two versions of slug burgers. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had a slug burger before or if you have a recipe that includes some kind of extender too you know, stretch out a meal. If you've missed my previous episodes of Hard Times, I shall put the playlist up above and you can check out some other interesting recipes. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learn something. Share this video with your friends. It really helps me out and follow me on social media and you can see what videos are coming up next and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. And that was more.